show you what are the materials needed for painting before we start for those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do subscribe and leave some comments or any suggestions that you want me to improve or you want me to uh, do in my next live video and anyway uh, we'll start so the basic uh, materials we need for painting is number one of course paints one is acrylics and uh, the second one is oil as a beginner you only have to use um, white um, titanium white and in here I'm using the studio acrylics high viscosity uh, also I use uh, black black acrylic paints but if you got no black you can you can mix the three primary colors first that you need um, is uh, yellow uh, cadmium yellow and uh, red or you can use also crimson crimson red and also the ultramarine blue three colors are called the the, the primary colors you can have also the raw umber or burn umber here well these uh, paints are they are in the mini tube 22 mils with different colors uh, I bought this uh, in a set when I was new in painting I started buying this first the, the set because uh, that time I don't know yet that I can use only the primary colors and mix them secondary or tertiary colors but I can still use them if you are a beginner you don't have to have these all colors on hand for me acrylic paints can be easily dried and I don't need to wait that long so that um, I can add another layer well, compared to the oil paints Oil paints takes time to dry and it usually took oh, one day, two days before it dries before you can add another color on top of it. You cannot wash the, the brushes with water. You have to use a turpentine or high spirit to clean the brushes. But never, never use uh, water when you use the oil. But on the acrylics, uh, you can use uh, water. To, to clean your paint brushes it's up to you guys uh, what um, paint that will suit you but here a brush cleaner from Angelus but um, as a beginner you don't have you don't need to have this um, cleaner and also this um, cleaner as well it's in the in, it's in the tub you just have to wash your brush and then dip your brush in here to preserve your uh, brushes and your brushes will have uh, a long life or you know the bristles will take long pretty good actually brush cleaner there are some brands that are too pricey there are also brands that uh, that can be cheap so it's up to you guys uh, it depends on your budget but uh, that time, uh, I don't know that um, you can only have black, white, yellow, blue, and red to start painting. And I have the, this mistake that uh, I bought. I bought all those uh, tubes uh, with different colors. And But I can still use them on my painting. It's not really a waste. But if you stick to your budget, you can buy this. Uh, primary colors first so the next um, uh, materials that we use for, for painting are the brushes so many kind of brushes actually uh, these are the makeup brushes we use anymore so they got uh, soft bristles guys if you got many makeup brushes you, you can use them I use them for blending and also to soften the, the surface Sets. these are very uh, cheap I mean this is these are not expensive so but I can still use them I, I use them many times and also these uh, long brushes 
Well, there are many kinds of brushes. Uh, th there can be a nylon or synthetic or hard bristles. And there are also well, many kinds of brushes according to their shapes and size. Uh, this is what you call the angle brushes. And this one is, uh, I think this is widget. I think this one is uh, what you call uh, reverse. Fun brush. There is a big fun brush here. Big fun brush. There are many kinds of fun brush, many sizes. Usually you use the fun brush for blending or uh, painting uh, leaves. Uh, I can use the leaves or branches. Maybe one day I will make a video for the, all the kinds of brushes and their uses and how you use them and what kind of strokes you're going to use we call it three divisions of a brush so this uh, this uh, this is what you call the bristles and this one is the, the ferrule and this one is the handle so there are three parts of uh, the paint brushes so there's many these uh, these small small brushes. I uh, normally use this to paint for the details of uh, my painting. So these are very small, especially this one, very minute. And the third one, the third uh, basic uh, materials you need in painting are the palettes. There are many kinds of palettes, one of these, this is only cheap and uh, you can buy this in any art stores. Yeah. I think I, I also got the small one and I got the glass, glass palette as well. So when you use the glass palette, if you don't need it anymore or you, you, you want to clean it, you just need a, a glass scraper to just scrape the the paint or you can just wash the the, the glass palette but uh, i think scraping is better i got here a small container for paints you got the leftover paints you can put in one tube and then you can cover it and then you can use it the following day or the next day and the paints are still wet you can still use the paints or as what i have mentioned before in my one of my vlogs while i was painting what i normally do when i got excess paints and i don't want to throw the paint the leftover paints on my palette i just cover this with a clean film and then cover with the clean film and then I normally put the leftover this uh, palette outside. It's cold outside, so there's the moisture comes in and the paint doesn't dry. That's one way that we can save the the leftover paint. So I got here different sizes of, of a canvas. I'll show you. So this is a canvas. I already bought this. Um, canvas but this is already stretched when it's already stretched it's up to you if you want to prime it again but uh, if you want to prime it again you can use a gesso I got here a gesso you can just uh, put one coat or two coats but as a beginner you don't have to spend a lot of money you can use many many materials around you i can show you um some of the materials in here you can also use acrylic pad but the uh, thicker thicker sheet okay so you can also use this uh, instead of canvas the acrylic pad because i'm using the acrylic you can paint you know, uh, you can use the, the carton for painting as well. 
especially when you are just uh, starting. Uh, get this is smallest canvas here. You can also paint on the newspaper. Uh, any paper will do. Um, any cheap paper you can you can use. So yeah, if you are just new, you can use uh, stones. There's many stones around us or outside outside our place. Basically, we can we can paint on any other any other surface. We just have to be resourceful on what we're going to use, because the only important thing is the paint, the brush, the material needed for painting is the easel. So easel, I got here a table easel. So I just paint here in my dining table. I'm using this um, small small easel, so this can be adjustable. And uh, I think this is smaller kind of easel. This is uh, a massive one, as long as the canvas fits uh, very well and uh, it's safe and the canvas is not moving. So you can use this. Space is not a question. Uh, if you really like to paint. You can paint. It's just um, just have to be resourceful actually. I got here um, an apron. If you don't want your clothes to be mess or if you don't want your clothes to be dirty, you can use this apron. I got here uh, aluminum palette knife. That's what you call and yeah I'll, I'll, I'll hold first the the steel one the aluminum one so there's many kinds of shape this one there you go I, I use this very small one for mixing things when I mix the paint uh, I use these smallest palette knives and I normally use these palette knives for my textured shapes and also um, I'm also using the plastic palette knife I also use a, a ruler ruler you don't have to use the ruler um, but it depends on the design of your painting sometimes I use the pipette to uh, put water on my acrylic paints there I got here a small container spray water on my uh, palette also got paint bra foam brushes I have as a beginner you don't have to buy this I also got this uh, sponge decorative uh, sponge uh, for painting I normally use this sponge for uh, painting a tree the leaves of the tree and this is very useful i got here a heavy structure gel so i normally use this when i paint the uh, you know by uh, textured in varnishing i use the liquitex varnish and also liquitex high gloss varnish use one or uh, two, two of them and I've got also here Liquitex uh, Flow 8 acrylic paints are too too thick or you want to paint something that is quite watery I got here water um, we need also a container to to wash the brushes and so we have to put the, the brush on the flat surface so that we, we will not ruin the bristles after we clean the, uh, the brush, I've shown this before in my previous vlog. Um, this is just like a waxy um, cleaner and preserver. So after you wash, you just have to to dip the bristles on the, the on the on the wax, dry the the paint brushes flat. Okay, this is just really to protect the the, the bristles because uh, some paint brushes are really expensive so we have to look after the paint brushes as uh, so what i have mentioned before we can 
you can use anything any any materials uh, to paint on uh, we can also use wood sand this to smoothen it and then prime it with gesso and then you can paint on top of it we are undergoing a lot of uh, challenges and uncertainties engaging in art is really a therapy please engage into arts uh, any forms of arts uh, basically for painting you just need paints you can buy at least four brushes that uh, you can use uh, a packet guide to mixing colors so as you can see the primary colors red yellow and blue and also the uh, the most important thing while you're painting is water you need to be well hydrated when you are painting i got here um if you're in a budget actually i bought this <laughs> I, I was amazed with the, the color uh, this is called artwork ready made uh, ready mixed paint look at guys it's only one pound at 300 mils they got a uh, different different uh, nice color this is a, a mixture of different colors of acrylic paints put it in i put it in here so that i'll know um, what's the outcome if i will paint those paints if you got any question guys please leave me a message and uh, i'll make sure that i will answer all your queries i hope uh, guys uh, you, you learned so much from my videos and if you like to receive all the notification to all my incoming videos please uh, click the notification button all and then subscribe and then leave some comments thank you very much guys see you next time don't forget zari arts and travels thank you guys bye